What is going on my beautiful people? Back at it again today with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. Today is Saturday and I'm down at the bayou. So today we're doing a part two of Can You Eat Your Bait? I don't know if you've seen my last one that I did. I'll leave a link down in the description below of that video. But the last time I did it, we did pinfish. I caught some pinfish for bait and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna eat some. So I did, I filleted them up and they taste like bluegill. They weren't too bad. Um, today though, we're gonna be going for something different. We're gonna be going for croaker because I had a lot of comments, you know, some good, some bad. People are like, yeah, don't eat pinfish. They're bad for you, blah, 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 yeah still breathing but i did have a lot of good comments about croaker so that's what we're going to be going for today people were like man croaker is delicious golden croakers you got to try it so yeah that's what we're going to be going for so without further ado i'm gonna throw you guys on the gopro and let's get it going feeling raindrops come on oh got him got him this one feels a little bit bigger. Fighting like a pinfish. I think it's a pinfish. Nope, it's another little croaker. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey. Uh, He's about hand size, I'll keep him. Just in case I get nothing but tiny ones the rest of the day. I did say I was keeping bait and eating bait, so we'll go ahead and throw him down in the old bucket. See ya. Man, oh man, I think it's about to let loose. Come on. Oh, I got some dolphins over here. Two of them swimming together. Man, oh man. Please just roll by. There we go. Hooked up again. I think it's about the same size. Yep. No, that's a tiny one. I'll throw him back in the drink. Oh, I guess he's about the same size. It is freaking raining now, guys. Dang it. Stop raining. Come on, rain. Just stop already. Oh man. Yeah, I gotta pack it up, boys. Dang. Watch, well, as soon as I get up to the car, it's gonna stop raining. Whew. All right. I had to run back up to the car. It started freaking pouring the rain. But I think it's good now. I waited about 10, 15 minutes. So uh, we're gonna get back on these croakers. I'm gonna have me a nice little fry later. Nice little fish fry. So uh, I, I gotta get all set back up. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right. Back in action. Here you little croakers. Where you at? Where you at little croakers? Whew. Man, I didn't have much time. It just came a downpour. I just packed up as fast as I could and basically sprinted to the to the van and uh, waited about 10, 15 minutes and it stopped. I think we're good. If I look back this way, it's looking a lot clearer than it was in that big black cloud that was coming through. 
I'll take that. I took my bait. Yep, I knew it. Oh, getting a bite. Come on. There he is. Got him. There he is. I think it's a pinfish. I keep saying that and it's a croaker. What's up, little guy? A little bit bigger than the last one. I feel like they're all like the same size. <laughs> Croak. Let's give it the old yeet. Yeet! Bloop. Pulling on that cut bait over there again. They won't eat it though. Just nibbling, nibble on it, pulling on it. Look at it. Come on, don't make me a liar. I bet you it's a crab, actually. Oh, no, oh, no, we got something. Oh, he came off? No, he's on there. What do we got? Oh, we got ourselves a catfish. Hey, boys. What's up, buddy? You a sail catfish? Ooh, it is. Okay. Okay. Let me get my pliers here, buddy. He's a good eater size, too, actually. Might have to just take you home, buddy. Take you home. So this is how we're going to do this. Let me get my pliers real quick. There he is. The old sail catfish. I think I'm going to throw him back, though. He's a little... I mean, he's... He'd probably be a good eater size, but it's not really what we're going after. But uh, nice little sail catfish on the uh, on the lady cut ladyfish, aka skipjack. See you later, buddy. Bloop. The bite. Come on now, come back. Come back for it. There we go. Got him. Little. Little. Another itty bitty tiny. Oh, look at this. Look at this, boys and girls. Look at this monster. These are the ones that freaking like to spine you, though. That's the thing. Come on, cut it out. Look at this little guy. Dude, yours, but you're bigger. The shrimp was bigger than you. Look at that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, the GoPro's on 8%. I'm gonna get a couple more casts in here and then I'm probably gonna keep fishing to be honest. Hopefully I can catch a little something something. Got 
got them. Oh, that feels bigger. That feels a little bit bigger. Well, anything is bigger than that catfish, but this, this feels like a trout. To be honest with you. Nope, croaker. Whatever I uh, don't eat with the croaker, I'll be using as redfish candy. There's another, another croaker for the books. keep saying last cast but you know how you know how it is freaking thunder and just seen lightning and I'm like last cast last cast yeah right it's never last cast Here it comes. All right, yeah, I gotta go. It's definitely coming. Oh, God. Here comes the rain. It's gonna pour, too. No. So, not only did I get rained on twice yesterday, the second wave of rain that came through caused a flash flood and the water was right where my fingers at and it was flooding in my backyard. Um, it was wild, to be honest with you, I was kind of worried. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a video up of that right quick. Look at this crap here. We basically just had a flash flood. Backyards flooded. Neighbors, backstream porches flooded. There's like a little branch behind the behind the house behind the house here. The water was all the way up to like right here. It started going down a little bit. It stopped raining, or it's still sprinkling, but it is just insane amount of water. Good lord! Look at this. That's like a river. Down there is it goes down. It's like a six foot drop. Oh god, it's flowing back there. Flowing like Bill Lowen. Good lord. Oh man. I'm about ankle deep right here. I don't want to walk too far because there's a drop off. Look at this. It's all flooded. Good lord. That's just flowing basically to the backyard here. Good Lord, look at that. It's like a freaking creek or a river, I should say. Oh man, that is not good. Good, good, good Lord. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God. I really hope it don't come up into the house. That's like rapids and everything over there. Oh man. This is insane. Kind of worried to be honest with you. So this is what it looks like now that all the water has receded. Um, I mean, there was rapids over here. It looked like a freaking river, like no joke. Um, none of this sand was here. That's that was all brought in. That this is like a six foot drop right here. All that sand wasn't there. 
I mean, the water was like up to here. So it was just kind of wild. It was insane, to be honest with you. I was kind of worried about it. I thought the house was going to flood, but thank the Lord, everything calmed down and uh, the water receded pretty quickly. Anyways, let's go uh, on the back porch and clean up these croakers. Look at these little baby fillets. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm interested to see if they're actually going to be better than the pinfish that I tried. But uh, just like any other fish up towards the head like this, probably be better if you peeled them back to be honest with you instead of going through the rib bones like this because I'm going to be missing some of the meat but I mean it's going to be like one tiny little bite so it's all good this is what it looks like little filet that little red piece you're going to cut it out just like I've done any other time strip or clean boys strip or clean and just to keep everything the same I'm going to cook them exactly how I cooked the pinfish I got my fillets right here in the Frank's Red Hot, just soaking. Uh, I got some flour and some Sloppy Mama season mixed up together. I'm going to take some fillets out of that bag, throw them in that bag, leave a little bit of air, give it a little shake and bake, and then I got my uh, oil right here just to heating up. Shake and bake, baby, shake and bake! All right. Got the first one going down in the grease. Woo! Hello. All right, as them are cooling down, I wanted to do another channel shout out. This time it's my buddy Jarvis. He's got a really awesome channel. It's Gulf Coast Fishing A50. He's caught a lot of monster fish this year. If you guys, my people, go over to his channel, subscribe, hit his little bell notification, and uh, that's Gulf Coast Fishing A50. His link will be down in the description. All right, let's try this croaker out. Uh, I might have overcooked it a little bit when I was doing the B-roll, but... Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, dive on in. Yeah, I definitely overcooked it. Still good though. Still really good. I want to be completely honest with you. I, I don't know which one's better, croaker or pinfish. I mean, I honestly think you could probably take a turd and put it in some franks and deep fried and it probably tastes pretty good. Anyways. That is pretty good, actually. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, do me a huge solid. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. That way you're always updated. And also, if you want to support the channel, drop me some, drop me a dollar in the cash app up there. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, like I always say, I'm going to catch you all in the next one.